everyone and welcome to Curious Life and today's video is a big one because today is the day that we redecorate our main living room and it really needed doing. This is the room that we spend most of our time in and it's where the dog spends most of her time as well. So there was just mud and chip paint everywhere. So as we get started removing our winter decor so that I can paint, let me introduce myself. I'm Missa and I make intentional homemaking videos with my wife Blaze. And if you like videos on cleaning, homemaking and intentional living, then I'd love it if you subscribed and joined me. And with the winter decor packed away and a lot of the prep work already done by Blaze, I'm ready to paint. And these are the paints that we chose. We chose a standard white for the doors and the skirting boards. So it wasn't a high gloss, we chose more of a satin wood paint. So that it wouldn't be too shiny, but it would also be easy to clean. And then for most of the main walls, we chose an off-white colour. It's called Jasmine White by Dulux and it has a slight cream tinge to it. And that's because I'm not actually a fan of pure brilliant white in a room. I find it a little bit too bright. But we still wanted a really fresh and clean look, but without that brightness. Then to add a feature, we chose a pale warm grey for the fireplace wall. This is actually going to be quite a big difference because this is replacing the deep red that we had on the wall before. So it's going to look really quite different. But I do love these colours and it is going to be quite the change for the room as a whole. So the first step I took was to paint all of the wood in the room. This meant the skirting boards, the door and I painted some of the shelves that we have on the wall too. This is definitely not my favourite part of painting a room but it does make such a difference so it is worth it. I hadn't quite realised just how bad this had gotten in the last few years but it has been over 10 years since this room was last redecorated and it does get a lot of use so it shouldn't have been too much of a surprise that it really needed a refresh. In all I gave the skirting boards and the doors two coats of paint but the shelves needed three because they'd never been painted before and I'm hoping that these really fit the room as a whole. We made a bit of an odd choice to have wooden shelves up before because literally nothing else in the room is that wood colour. Everything else is white or grey, so it should look much better painted white. But next it was time to paint the main walls and I started with the jasmine white because I wanted to save the fireplace wall for last because that's the most satisfying to do. I really love this colour. With this redecoration we were going for something very different to the theme we had before. The red and magnolia looked great and we actually still do love it but we were finding that because now we're changing up the decor and theme of the room in line with the seasons the red was just a little difficult to fit into our decor ideas and we had to keep finding ways around it to make sure everything fitted in. We also really wanted to have a much fresher feel in the room. Dark colours can be a little bit oppressive and we had a lot of dark red in the room. We still will have dark red because we are not going to be replacing the sofas anytime soon. But those will be much easier to match with the colour and theme of the season using throws and cushions and things like that.
are on to the best bit, the fireplace wall. I can't tell you how much of a relief it is to get this finally done. It has been on my to-do list for a couple of years now. We had it scheduled in to do a few weeks ago. I bought the paint and all the supplies before Christmas, expecting that we'd actually get it done over the Christmas holiday break. But we didn't. Life happened and we just didn't manage it. And that's okay, we got there in the end. So all in all, this took about a week with me focusing completely on it. That meant other things in the house definitely did not get done. Blaze was able to help with a lot of the prep work, which was super helpful, and it ensured I could get it done within a few days. So to finish off the room, I gave it a clean and added just a few winter decor items back. I didn't want to add too much because we're actually going to be decorating for spring next week, and I can't wait to do our next spring decor theme. It will look amazing with the new wall colours. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek at just some of the items that we're going to be using in our spring theme. It's going to be so much fun and I can't wait. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you liked the new room decor as much as we do. If you did enjoy the video, it would be great if you could give it a like. It really helps us out as a small channel. As well as next week's spring decor theme video, I have a whole plan for getting back on top of my fly lady routines. And those videos will start coming out in a couple of weeks. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.